Thanks for clicking on the video today, everybody. Uh, this shouldn't take too long. I just wanted to run through the second part of the Polyhaven materials with you. So if you click on the link below the video, there should be a link to the Google Drive that has the Polyhaven materials too in it. Uh, the reason why I didn't just give people all the textures at once is because it is taking me a bit of time just to organize everything and then also render out the videos that have the uh, the spheres of the textures on them because I do want to include those in every video. So that's why this should be the second of four videos, I think. So there should be two more coming after this. But if you right click this and download the Polyhaven materials too, then you should get a zip file that has everything in it. And unlike the last video, this one will only come in one zip file because I one fixed it. And I think that this is only six gigs where I think the other one was 10. So that shouldn't be a problem. Once you have the zip file downloaded, I think it took me about seven minutes to download it. So if you want to pause the video, get it and then come back to this point, I'll show you what to uh, do from here. So it's uh, there's nothing too crazy. You're going to open up the file explorer. And when I get all of these textures, I pull them out of the document. So this part, don't worry about this. I'm just going to show you something here. But if I go into documents and I go to Lumion 11 materials, so all of these, these are all your custom materials. So all the ones that are here are the ones that I have loaded up for other videos. I believe these are actually, yeah, so these should be all the ones that I still have left over. And that is where I'm actually pulling them from. So what I do is I go into the custom materials, I take those out, and then I put them into the folders in the correct way so that when we go to the Windows C, and this is where you're going to want to drop these folders, you go Program Files, Lumion 11.3, Architect Edition, Project. So this materials folder right here, if I open this up, this right here, we're just going to drag this into this folder. So you don't want to drag it into the materials folder. You want to drag it into the project folder. So let me move this so it's a little bit easier to see. What I typically do is like if you if you have it like this, it highlights one of these folders. You just want to drag it over here so that none of the folders are getting highlighted. Now, I've already done this, so it is going to say overwriting files, um, but you shouldn't get that. If it does say overwrite, just say yes. It Sometimes it says the folder has to overwrite it, but it doesn't actually change anything. So we'll wait for this to unzip. And uh, I've had a couple of people ask me this. This will not overwrite the Lumion materials. If you have two folders with the same name, if you put them into the same folder, they don't actually overwrite each other. They just merge together. Uh, files themselves will actually just delete one or the other because they can only have one namespace, whereas folders can just kind of collapse into each other. So knowing that what I do is I go in and I actually set up these material folders that you're downloading from me the same way that Lumion sets them up in the actual Lumion library so that you download them, you throw them in there, and then all of the textures that I'm giving you today will just automatically be sorted by wood, brick, plaster. Uh, I've even sorted them by indoor and outdoor materials so that everything will just appear like it's kind of like a Lumion edition. And yeah, I also something I, I made a mistake with in the past is I didn't label them. Uh, for the iMesh materials. So this one, all of them are LLPH, which means Luminous Labs Polyhaven. Yeah, and this is what I'm saying. You, you probably shouldn't get this uh, message, but if you do, just replace the files. Do all this for current, hit yes, and then that should just quickly overwrite them. And once those are in, it does just take a second to kind of confirm everything, but okay, that's good. Let's open up Lumion. And now all of the textures should be inside of Lumion. This will just take a second to open, but uh, something I wanted to mention too is I, I said this in the last video, but if you do find anything wrong with any of the materials, please let me know. Uh, I'm gonna make a little list of all the ones that I have to go back and change and I'll just update them to the, to the drive. I did try my best to get them looking how I'd wanna use them in a scene. I think most of them are good to go, but I was doing over 200 of these, so I had to go fairly quickly. And something that I, I didn't do um, is the map scale. So I made all the map scales set to one. Uh, whereas if you have a, a ground texture with maybe like sticks and leaves and things, you may find that it actually works best at three. So they are loaded up and ready to go, but you may just have to tweak them a little bit to make them fit your scene. Um, so I would just keep that in mind, but I don't think that that's really going to bother most people because that's kind of how it works with Lumion materials. Anyways, all of Lumion's materials come in at like a, a certain map scale and, uh, if, if you have like a really complex object, you always can go down an imported map scale, but that's kind of the more advanced version of it, whereas you have to do everything outside of Lumion. 
But let's just take a look at a couple materials here. So if we go to soil and we find our L's, so I believe coral mud. Uh, okay, yeah, so dirt aerial. So this is one of the ones that we just added in. So let's throw this down here and see how it looks. As you, as you can see here too, all of the Lumion materials, so Landscape 06C and Dirt Aerial 03, those are, um, the, the Dirt Aerial is the ones that I just gave you, and the Landscape is obviously the Lumion standard, so they're, they're now mixed together. And yeah, so you can kind of see what I mean. So if you change the map scale to 5.6, it looks a lot better than at one. Um, so some of them may come in a little bit small, but you can just scale them up. These are 4K, resolution so they they can be scaled up quite a bit without really losing too much quality uh, but i am really happy with how those came out something uh as well that i mentioned in the previous one i'll probably mention in the other videos too polyhaven uh typically has i feel i find a lot of their materials are more so exterior so you get a lot of like mud asphalt bricks uh outdoor wood planks so like wooden siding with maybe like some paint chips that kind of thing i believe that they're designed for video games so you get a lot of I'm not sure how to describe this. A lot of textures that I guess would be taking up a lot of space in your scene. So something that's going to be the entire wall of a building or the entire you know floor of a certain area, which is really nice because I think that these are these are really cool materials and they are uh, CC zero, which means that you can really do with them whatever you want. Um, these are completely royalty free, and you can put them in all of your scenes without worrying about it. So I'm also going to leave a link to Polyhaven below. Uh, if you want to check any of that stuff out, hopefully in the future, you'll be able to download these right from Polyhaven, but there may be some stuff we just have to figure out of what the best way of doing that is. And yeah, so if you also haven't grabbed the textures from the first video, uh, you can find them, or I will leave you a link below. And this might actually be a good example of what I was talking about. So in this, this one, for example, I'll have to fix. So this is from the previous one. To me, it looks like I have the normal map flipped on this one um so you may if you find any little mistakes like that just let me know i figure there is going to be a handful i have to go back and change but uh i figured the easiest way would be to kind of release these and then if people find one i can just go back and fix it and then hopefully i can just put that one up that people can download so hopefully you guys enjoy these textures uh if you want to see which ones i actually did for this one they're all obviously at the beginning but for the next video, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of them into a list in Excel and then just color code them so you can see which material is from which video. And then in the future, I may make it there's so there's some way that you can download individual ones so you don't have to download all of them. But for now, they are all just in one zip file. So I hope you guys find that very helpful. Uh, if you did find the video interesting, I'd appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. As I mentioned, we are going to be having at least two more of these videos for Polyhaven. And then once that's done, I may move on to converting all of the models into uh, from Polyhaven into Lumion as well. And yeah, from there, I am just working on a couple different projects with Lumion right now. I've, I'm doing one um, that I, I've been spending quite a few months on. So that's going to be a very large animation project. I've probably spent well over a hundred hours now, but I, I think I'm kind of getting to the point where it's almost ready to start rendering. So I'm hoping that I can share that with everyone very soon. Uh, for now though, I'm going to leave it there. Have a good day, everyone. I'll see you in the next one.